you know, but here's my take on it. You are watching a master at work. I've been just a rat man, what the fuck happened to that? Young Cuddy. Guys, we're back. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Cuddy. There's a brand new video, and this is by the title of the video. I'll be showing you guys how to make this cool effect that you guys saw at the very beginning. And yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's go straight into it. Cool. So we're on my desktop now and I'm loading up After Effects. Also wanted to just shout out my Discord server real quick. If you guys want to be part of my Discord server, first link in the description down below. Uh, I do just special announcements down there on what I'm working on, tutorials that I'll be working on next. Um, but yeah, go ahead and join my Discord server. Okay, perfect. So now my After Effects loaded up. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make this effect without the music. So I'm gonna go ahead and sync it real quick. And once we do that, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do the actual effect. Cool, so we have the clip sync. This is how it looks. So it could look better, obviously, because it's in 60 frames per second and it doesn't look that great, but that's pretty much the premise of it. So pretty much we want to create this, in this integration effect right here. So this is where he pulls out the gun. I wanted him to disappear, like disintegrate back in <clears throat> and then to get the kill right there. This is what I did for this effect. I copy and pasted. So control D or control C, control V. Just duplicate this layer. I'm going to go ahead and control shift D on both ends of it where I want this effect to happen. So I have like a new layer, right? I have the same clip and then I'm going to go ahead and double click on that layer. I'm going to go to the very beginning right here where it starts and I'm going to click on this tool right here. This is rotor brush tool. This is what's going to tell the computer that we're going to be rotor brushing this character right here. So I'm just going to sit here and go ahead and rotor brush this character frame by frame. So if I like highlight all this, you can see the camp the, the you can see the computer is going to try its best to guess what where the character is at in this moment in time. So you can see the character is well highlighted. There's in between stuff here too that I could work on, but for the sake of the tutorial, I won't be doing that. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to highlight all this because this is where the gun is at. So that's the first clip there. You're going to do this for every single frame. Um, so we click on the next key. We're just going to click on this next frame there, right here, as you can see. It's missing the connection there. And then also there's some of the tree there as well too. So we have to go in there and fix that. So again, click on the rotor brush tool and then highlight where it needs to be at. So the green means it will highlight it. Uh, so we need to connect these. And then if it's too much, like let's just say we don't like this right here specifically, we'll just have to Colt Alt on my keyboard and then highlight that as well too. And you can see it gets rid of that. So we just, the whole premise of it is to make sure that we continue to just have the character highlighted. And we're gonna do this frame by frame for, for each frame. But yeah, I'll see you guys once I'm done. Cool, so I just finished rotor brushing. It's a very rough rotor brush, but at this point we're gonna go to the very beginning and then click on freeze. And this is gonna cache and lock pretty much all of the frames that we just worked really hard for us to kind of, uh, I guess mask out within the rotor brush. So we click on freeze. And as you can see, the computer is gonna work on making sure if it can try to separate the background with the foreground. Cool, now that that's finished, we can go ahead and close this out. And if we disable the bottom layer, we should just see the rotor brush masked character out. So obviously we didn't go in depth with it and actually took our time with it just for the sake of the tutorial, but that doesn't look bad whatsoever, too bad at least. Perfect. Now that we finished and done all that, what we need to do is make sure that the background, you don't see the character in it anymore. So the way we're going to do that is by masking that out as well too. So let's go back to the very bottom layer. Once again, we're going to duplicate this once again, and then same thing as last time, control shift D on both ends and delete the other sides of the layer. Oops. And delete the other sides of the layer. And once we do that, let's go ahead and we're going to mask it out one by one again with the mask tool. We're just gonna make this very rough. So we're just gonna add some like points here, here. And we're gonna pretty much adjust uh, the mask uh, to fit the character each time. So we can continue continuously to make sure that they, you don't see the, but you don't see him in the background. So um, we're gonna go ahead and click on this, drag this over there, drag this over here, drag this over here, drag this over here. We're gonna pretty much adjust these so we can just kind of mask the character out in a very rough way uh, where it's not visible to the naked eye. So we have that one there. Cool, let's click on the next one. And again, same thing. 
we're just going to grab these masks mask layers and just really roughly make this for the tutorial um, obviously I recommend if you can to actually sit down and actually focus on make sure the masking comes out good because that's a viv very pivotal moment in it as well too it takes a lot of time but it's definitely worth it at the end of the day Cool, so now that we did that, let's go ahead and control S to save, and then we're gonna pretty much use the content and where fill uh, thing here. If you don't see that, just go to window, and it should be somewhere around here where it says content and where fill, um, which is right up here. So make sure you guys have content and where fill ready for you guys to use, and so make sure that your work area is pretty small on the specific clip that you're gonna be doing this for. So you can see I did a very rough mask of the character, and what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and content and where fill this. So we click on this. Click on surface, alpha expansion, it's up to you. If you want it all the way up, down, that's just gonna expand the mask for you. I'm gonna put it down a little bit more just cause it's a little too much. The uh, lighting correction could be strong. Range work area can be good there. Before you guys click on generate fill layer, what I need you guys to do is go to your mask and change it from add to subtract. We're trying to subtract the mask of the character in here. So as you can see with us doing that, the character disappears. On top of this, make sure that instead of saying surface, change it to object. Um, it works better for Fortnite specifically. You could mess with the other methods. Now let's go ahead and click on generate fill layer with all that being said. Cool. So you can see it's already done loading right down here. Let's click on spacebar to see how that looks. Literally is insane. The character is completely gone. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and go back to this mess that we had here of the original character and we can go ahead and add our effect. So now that we can go ahead and add an effect, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on our layer, our, our player here, which is the one that we're gonna be using here. And we're gonna click on control space or FX and preset tab and type in BCC scatterize. Now, if you do not have the BCC plugins, I'm sure you can get it online for free somewhere. So just look up BCC plugins, download, down to these plugins. And once you guys do that, let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So go ahead and add that in. And you can see there's already a disintegration effect going on here. So what I did specifically for this tutorial, um, for, for this montage is I pretty much added the variance um, to like 5,000, yeah. And then I put that at the very beginning of the clip. And then as it get closer towards the end of the clip, we put the variance to zero. And then from there, we're gonna highlight these two keyframes, F9, and then click on the graph editor here and smooth this out. So it gives it an effect of it like coming in. And now this is how it should look like with that effect already placed. Now that could be better. Uh, what I would recommend actually is probably putting this variance a little bit higher. So it did a good from nothing. So like maybe like up here and maybe adding some shake to really add that effect in there. So again, just go back to the graph editor and then just bring this out a little bit more. A lot more actually. And then let's go ahead and see how that looks. That effect looks really, really cool. I actually enjoyed it a lot. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys did, please leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next on the channel. And as always, guys, I'll see you guys on to my next video. Peace.